today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look for you guys. So first off, guys, I am sick. Um, I had the flu for a few days, like pretty much all this week. Um, it's been a pretty crappy week, uh, to be honest. I literally woke up today and I'm talking like this. I know it's like so unprofessional for me uh, to film a video when I can't talk, but I wanted to film an intro for you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, it's definitely something I would wear for nighttime. Uh, New Year's Eve is coming up and um, the holidays and stuff. So why don't we just go ahead and get started with the look. So I'm starting out in my crease area. And as you can see, um, I am placing some tape along the sides just to help prevent fallout and also to um, help the look look a lot uh, more precise and so I'm adding this beautiful metallic gray from the audacity palette by Lancome and I'm applying it into the crease area and also along the lower lash line now for the outer V area I'm taking this beautiful metallic purple color and I'm applying it into the outer V and blending it so it creates this beautiful kind of like transition color um, for the lid color that we're going to be applying and I'd like to note that in the audacity palette all three of these eyeshadows I'm going to be using are next to each other so they should be easy to identify um, so here I'm just blending everything out diffusing the look and then I'm also going to apply that plum color to um, the middle of my lower lash line kind of creating like a gradient effect so now I'm taking the lid color which is right next to the beautiful purple color we just used um, and I'm going to apply it to my lids and I really like this look because it goes from like a beautiful bright pinky purple to this nice intense deep purple um, and then it kind of smokes out to a gray which I think is beautiful and then for the brow bone I'm going to be applying this beautiful cream shade from the palette it's the pink cream shade uh, that you will find in the palette I believe it is the second matte cream shade in the palette and then in the lower lash line, I'm going to go back in with the lid color and I'm going to apply it towards the first half of the lower lash line and I'm going to blend it out. So for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be, not the eyeshadow, the eyeliner, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Precision Eyeliner um, and I'm going to be a, like just doing a quick cat eye. Um, what I love about the tape is that it helps to create this beautiful precise line for those of you who aren't very skilled in doing a liquid liner. The tape really helps and then for mascara I'm going to be using the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara and I'm going to be applying it generously to my top and my bottom lashes. And I'd also like to note that I am using my Ardell Demi Wispies for this look. And so now moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using my Lancome Taunt E Doll foundation. I am in the shade Bisque Warm and I love this foundation because it does not go on cakey and it is like full coverage. It's very buildable. Um, so I'm applying it with my Beauty Blender Pro sponge and then I'm going to be taking my Becca Under Eye Brightening um, Cream. And I'm going to be applying that underneath my eyes to brighten the area before I apply my concealer. So now the next thing I'm doing is I'm going to be taking my favorite drugstore uh, concealer, which is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I use the shade Pale um, because I really like the brightening effect. And so I'm applying it to all the areas that I want to highlight. And then while it bakes a little bit, I'm just going to take my Too Faced Matte Soleil Bronzer in medium to deep and I'm going to contour uh, my face. Now I'm going back in with my uh, Beauty Blender Pro sponge and I'm going to blend out the concealer. And again guys, I apologize for my voice. It is a little bit better today, uh, but it still is a little bit, um, I guess, like low and cracky, so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, 
For the loose powder I'm using, it is the Brightening Up Loose Powder from NARS. And um, I will leave the exact name below and I'm just using that to set the concealer. Now for blush, I'm using the MAC Blush in Gingerly and I'm just applying it to my cheeks. Now I'm using my Becca highlighter in the shade Opal, which is my all-time favorite. And I'm just using it to highlight uh, my face. Now I'm just lining and feathering in my lips with this NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige. Now for lipstick, I'm using the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade Touch of Spice, which has been my favorite everyday lipstick for the longest time. I love this lipstick so much and I think it's like the perfect neutral color. And then the last step, I'm just going to take some of my Becca highlighter and apply it to the inner corners of my eyes for just a little bit more of a pop. And then the look is complete. Thank you guys for watching.